day 12 of the best of 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. So we are not quite halfway through. Let's say we're 40%. Is that about right? I don't know. I'm not doing any math. Anyway, let me show you the sketch. It is a design I have never, ever even attempted before. Um, it's a 12 by 12 with, I want, I Googled pinwheel because I was thinking, you know, maybe cutting a pinwheel or something. I don't know. It's really like these kind of triangles. They're like offset, um, that create like this, you know, kind of starbursty type effect. There is mixed media behind it, like squirtles and it's a two by two photo with, it looks like some, what is the name of that shape? Like a seal behind like circle elements basically. And then like some kind of little subtitle -y stuff there. Now, what I have, first I'll show you, I have the picture. I have a two by three, so it's a slightly different size, but that's okay. And then I have this collection, uh, Simple Stories. It's fairly old, it's from 2012, so it's 10 years old. And it was called, hmm, well, it went with this, this book you could buy, like Snap, I think was the name of the, it was like a snap book. So if you've ever seen it, I, I imagine it was kind of like Project Life or whatever because all these little things would fit in there. But they do have a nice little B-side here, and I like the color scheme. And this has been over my stuff over there, and I need to use some of it. <laughs> I need to get rid of it, because I can still, look at all this. I still have all these things, and there's so many little cut aparts and whatnot. I think for this design, though, I'm gonna use this as my background paper. And of course, it's gonna come from up there. And then, I what I've done is I've drawn, I took an eight and a half by 11, because again, I've never done this design before. I do not know if this is going to work. I'm hopeful. But I just kind of do did like this and drew like kind of a random triangle-y stuff. And I'm gonna cut these out and use these as templates on my papers. And I may actually start with one of them because I think that might be the easiest way to do it. I don't know which yet, I gotta figure it out. Maybe this one, because um, it's the darkest and it has like a dark as the, dark as the deal. But that being said, I have this. So I don't know y'all, I think maybe this one, but that'll be the one on top. So we'll see, I'm gonna play it by ear because I kind of like this, but I think that might have to be a background. Anyways. I'm thinking these three patterns is what I may end up using, I think. I do like the wood grain on the side of this, so I may end up matting you know, the photo with that. That's why I kind of pulled that one out. I did find, I don't know what I did with it. I saw like a little pu uh, speech bubble, but I don't think I'm gonna use that after all. But I have these stickers too, so I do like these stickers. Um, and then I'll probably have to get some dies out. Y'all, I should have pulled them out. I'm so sorry. I have some dies that are the same shape as those little things. So I may end up cutting those out with those dies. If I do, I'll probably pull those out and show you in a quick check-in. Anyway, that's what I'm starting with. Um, wish me luck. Talk soon. Hey, everybody. It's quick time for a quick check-in. So I showed you guys the little white piece of 8 and a half by 11 paper that I had drawn the lines on. And um, this was kind of the cut parts after the end of it. So what I did is I... I laid this originally before I cut it over the top of this sheet, cut it, use my little washi tape here, and then I taped these over the top of my other pattern paper and cut the same size. So what I have now is, and I'm not gonna lie, y'all ever get so tickled with yourself? <laughs> I'm pretty tickled with myself because I think this looks pretty darn good. Now I haven't glued anything down as you can see, it's kind of been moving around here, but anyway, my idea here is this is gonna go like this. Now, interestingly, <laughs> I have these this extra sheet or this extra stuff here, but I like the way this looks and I think this goes I think this aligns with the sketch So we are going to stick with these and not use these two little guys unless I use them for some other thing But probably not so they're gonna go over there. So that's where I'm at now There is mixed media splotches behind this now. I, I will tell you though. These are a tad bigger um, I don't know. I may end up coming and trimming this down a little bit I don't know though, because I kind of like how this looks. I may, I may do this one, because it does show on the sketch just a little bit different, but otherwise I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, but there's some splotches. Now there's some kind of distressing going on here. So, but I may take some white splotches behind there. But anyways, that's where we're at. Sorry for the rambling. Uh, let me get this going again. Talk soon. Okay guys, so here, um, here I have already, well, okay, I didn't even show y'all. I sprinkled a little bit of the white ink down underneath these these little triangles here. I have doodled with a black pen around the edges of the triangles. Um, on the sketch, it almost looked like there was a third layer. And I contemplated putting 
uh, black paint around the outside of the striped one, but I decided in the end, no. I just doodled around the outside of the two square, uh, triangles, and I think that actually looks pretty good. So I've sprinkled a little bit of white ink down there. You can't barely see it, which made me a little bit sad, but I'll do something with it later. And then I'll glue my, my triangles down. Now I've got my picture here, and I've got these two round, actually turn, turn out as three. It's two round punch outs. I had punched, I use a, I think it was a two inch punch on my pattern paper. And then I use a little scallop punch. I thought I had a doily die big enough because the sketch kind of showed like a doily behind the picture. I didn't, I didn't have anything. So I just decided to do it this way. And I'm okay with it. Now this picture, I don't think I really mentioned at all what it was. This picture is actually a screenshot of a website that shows, oh, there's my daughter's arm. I said, say hello. Anyway, it's, it shows a um, her status. This is actually a really big deal. This It says get team if you happen to look at it. It's a really big deal uh, for her. And so I took a screenshot of it when she, when she actually technically, she took the screenshot and sent it to me because she was really excited about it. And so I'm, I'm basically documenting that she has reached this status within the company. And um, I've double triple matted it technically. So I took the chevron or the little diagonal, I don't know what that is, a chevron slash diagonal behind a picture. And then I, I decided against using that wood grain I showed y'all just because it was so pretty. I didn't want to just cut it just for that one little mat. So I just went in my stash and got a little piece of brown uh, double dot or not double dot. It was like a raised dots or something like that. Uh, cardstock and on the backside actually had a creamy color. So I used that. So I've matted all that. I've now put a couple stickers down, right? So I've got um, it's about time on there. I've got the daily grind. And then I found this little Polaroid shape thing with the little hearts underneath it. And I thought that could act a little bit like that doily that I don't have. <laughs> and I really liked how that turned out. Now in the lower right corner, this whole collection, um, as I mentioned in the beginning, was kind of meant for like Project Life type stuff. So it's kind of meant for documenting monthly things. So I've got this entire sticker sheet full of months. And I thought, you know, I could document the date that way. So I put the May sticker down in the lower right. And then there was a, essentially, if you imagine like a calendar days down there, and I, there was 22 and I thought I'll use that as the year. And I'm pretty pleased with how that turned out down there in the lower right. And I'll add something else in a minute. And then there was a speech bubbles. One had the heart, one had the star. And I've just added those for a little interest there. I am now at this point, I am not even looking at the sketch y'all. I am so, I'm not gonna say I'm really far off because obviously the base design is really close, but I am, I am not even looking to see what those people have on that sketch. <laughs> I'm just putting stuff down where I like them. Now I started to put a little foam behind this. I did put foam behind the picture. So the daily grind sticker was a little bit, you know, needed something on that side that was kind of hanging off there. And I start off with a piece of foam and then I think it's too small. It's too, um, it's not tall enough. And in a second, I'm gonna try to put more foam in there. And then I'm gonna fiddle fart around with that. And then I'm gonna realize there's too much foam. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust this side over here a couple times because I just, I'm thinking, okay. And actually in the end, I think I end up with only one layer of foam because it was just too high and it didn't look right at all. And I almost would rather have gone downhill, which is what I end up doing. So I'm pooping around with this stupid thing and trying to get that tape gun on there when really I could have probably just used some light wet glue, but anyways. So I stick that down there. I do. I leave it there for just a second while I'm kind of looking and thinking. But you can see I, I'm not real loving it. I'm not. I'm not loving it. So then I take it off, and I go, nope. Just taking that extra off of there. And so, okay, let me get away from that part because I've just wasted enough time dinkling around with it. And I just go to the sticker sheet, and I'm finding a few little things. I'm honestly just looking for things that are kind of thematic, um, in the sense it's like, you know love this or, you know, different little um, kind of encouraging things. That little arrow turned out real cute. I like that little arrow down there. I believe, oh gosh, y'all, I can't remember now. I think I come back and put that on foam, I'm, but I can't swear on it because I have another couple things that I put back on foam. I thought about putting it on foam. I don't know if I do. <laughs> and then on the sticker sheet, I had this little uh, stripe of arrows and I don't really know. It looks like I might've trimmed it off another sticker and I put that next to the title, that Get Team thing, so it's kind of pointing at it. And now I've decided it's time to go ahead and trim these edges. Uh, this is okay. The sketch does show, you know, the little arrows trimmed and everything, so that's fine. Um, it's kind of intentional. I really think this looks kind of cool. My, my shape is a little bigger than the sketch uh, shape. I think it was more condensed or a little smaller in the upper left corner, a little bit more. But I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. And... Uh, I do need to add a little bit of glue. Now I have to hold that down for just a second. Um, in a second, like I said, I'm 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 kind of all. This is one of those times that you're kind of seeing all my stuff squished around me because my daughter is on the computer next to me. She's using my laptop, so I'm kind of like 
I'm kind of working in a really small area. <laughs> um, but I enjoyed having her sit there. I t she asked me at one point, she says, are you recording this? Because she's talking and she said something. I don't know what it was. And I said, no, that's okay. I usually I always turn the volume down, so no big deal. But it was kind of fun to have her sitting there with me. So I'm kind of going back over this sticker sheet. I keep thinking there's got to be something else. And I think I, this might be where I pull the... Uh, Okay, that says, uh, what does that say? Celebrate? No, I can't read that, y'all. Place, place to go. That's what it says. Place to go. And I'm just kind of, again, I'm just, the whole concept behind this was just, you know, she worked really hard and, and she's finally kind of getting there, although this is technically not her end goal, but um, she's kind of getting there. So it's just a celebration of that. And I thought this was, all these little things were just kind of neat because it kind of, um, you know, speaks back to how much work she put into it and, and how much she has to accomplish to get to this status. So, I think I put that little guy up on foam. I do. Y'all ever have trouble with that ATG and putting foam on little, or putting glue on little tiny pieces? <laughs> but you're like, this is my, this is my adhesive, man. Um, okay, so this little old geo chag with a heart on it, and that looks kind of cute right there. Now that being said, I, I, I find um, she actually saw. I said, I, t I told her, I said, I need something else. I need something else. And so I ran over and I got my enamel dots and I pulled out a couple little colors. I only put these in two spots. Um, Actually, at first I find this one foam sticker. One of them looks good. And I think it says uh, way to go. <laughs> it's like green or something with little gold letters on it. But then I also have these little dots. And I put them down there in the lower uh, lower right and then the, in that up there by the title area. I might should have put them somewhere else. I don't think I do. Oh, gosh, y'all. I don't know. I don't think I do. I think I only do two spots because in my head I'm going, okay, I'm just going to keep this a little simple. On the other hand, I... Up on the right hand side, I might should have. I don't think I do though. I think I put it away, and then I'm. But I'm. I'm looking at it going. No, I still want something else. There's still something else, and so I'm going to come over in a second, and I'm going to put. First, I'm going to put the ink. <laughs> oh no, I already did it. I'm. Oh, I didn't record it, y'all. I'm so sorry. There's two little old arrow things. How did I not record that? Um, when I pull this little cover away, because I did the sprinkles here, you'll see it in the close-ups too. I do have two little arrows. One says "Love this" or something, and the other says. Uh, it's in teal, and it's, um, there it is. It's right there on the upper left there. Anyway, that's the close-up. So there it is. It says, love it, and then it says, um, mm, can't read it, y'all. Sorry, but it's there. I added those. Anyways, here's the stills. Thanks so much for watching. Apologies for the rambling. Um, it's kind of, I'm getting a later start this morning. Check out the playlist. It's linked below, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.